Right, with us we have Ricardo Manetti, Brave Warriors coach. Now, Ricardo, you're preparing for the Corsafa Cup. Um, How is your preparations going? Well, the first uh, two, three days, uh, we were just working on the conditioning, you know, to get the players all on the same uh, level of fitness, because we had a break of uh, a week after the Nigeria game, and we also brought in new players. So I just wanted to get everyone uh, at the same level of fitness before we start with the tactics. And uh, that will be, you know, from Thursday. Thursday, Friday, we'll start with tactics um, to prepare for Kosafa. Right, and maybe with uh, fitness levels, talking about that, what, what does that look like now? Well, um, you know, the, the muscles are still very sore for some of them. Uh, some of them not used to the, to the load, the intensity that, we, that we're using. Because uh, we've, we practiced yesterday twice, we practiced twice today. And, uh, you know, it's a heavy load. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that uh, because they will recover in time. Uh, we'll, we'll give them off uh, tomorrow and then on Thursday we will resume with, uh, with uh, tactical training. Right, now you probably also heard that Equatorial Guinea is withdrawn from your group. So Namibia is just playing Seychelles and Mauritius. What do you think about that and how does that affect your preparation? Well, it doesn't really affect uh, the, the preparations uh, that much. It's just that we will have uh, one free day. In, uh, in Zambia that will give us uh, better preparation um, but uh, overall you know um, one should not underestimate Mauritius and Seychelles yes they, they, they're not uh, highly ranked in the FIFA rankings but uh, you know we all remember that uh, every now and then you know there's an upset and I don't want that to be the case so we are confident but also very uh, respectful towards our position Right, and Ricardo, if we just look back to the Nigeria game, your debut as a full coach, brilliant performance, a very um, passionate performance by Namibia. Do you think you can maintain that intensity and, and passion in future games? I like the word you're using, passion, and uh, that's how I want the team to play. I want them to have the passion for the, for the, for the jersey, and um, any, anything else and everything else should be secondary. So as long as they have the passion to play for the country, you know, we will see such performances and uh, that will be one of the primary things that I will focus on. So um, I just hope that, uh, you know, we can keep the intensity there because we played at a very high tempo and uh, international football is very important that you maintain the tempo throughout the 90 minutes. And uh, that hence we, we are preparing in a very intensive way for the past two days. Right, and finally, maybe looking at Kosovo as a whole, um, what's your aim and what, what would you be happy with over there? Obviously, the first uh, hurdle will be to, to get out of the group stages um, in terms of you know, uh, facing Mauritius and Seychelles to get through that um, because then we will face a, a big one in uh, South Africa that will be waiting in the quarterfinals. And uh, you know, anything from there, can, can, anything can happen because it's a, it's a derby match. It's a, it will be a very emotional match because we know the history between Namibia and South Africa. And um, I'd like to get one over my, my uh, ex-coach, which is uh, Gordon Igerson. You know, he used to coach me at uh, Santos and we won the league together. So I just hope that we, we meet in Kosafa as coaches, both of us this time around.